Hi, my name is Steven and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Life Lessons Learned, Part 3, A Guide to Moving to a New City. This series will cover the different aspects of my life and the lessons I've learned along the way. Now that I'm older, I want to distill down the knowledge that I wish I had when I was growing up. And I want to give others a leg up through my own experience while they're going through their own journey. The goal is to learn from my mistakes and skip over them. In Part 3, I'm going to go over what it takes to move to a new city and start over. It's another one of life's biggest milestones, to move to a new city and not to know anyone there. As someone who didn't travel a lot to the city I was going to, I had no idea what to expect. And certainly it was difficult and challenging to get my footing there in the first couple of months. I eventually learned a great deal about myself and how to start over in a new place. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about my background, my lessons learned, and my general thoughts on this. And before we start, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, hit that notification bell if you like this content. And here we go. So throughout my life, I've moved a bunch of different places and each time I had to start over from scratch. I had to form new connections and new friends in each of the places I went to. In my early 20s, I was looking for my place in the world, so I moved around a lot to see what's out there. I was searching for adventure and novelty and I was willing to risk my old lifestyle in LA. I knew that I had to start early and explore a lot before I settled down someplace. The move itself to a new location was easy, but starting from scratch was not easy. It always took more effort than it should and making connections from scratch is hard. I learned many strategies along the way and it helped me to adapt to the new locations. And it helped me to ease my anxiety and stress of moving to a new location. I ultimately grew into a stronger person knowing that I can move to any new place and thrive there. And knowing that I can start from scratch if I really needed to. These lessons I've learned are hard fought and will help anyone looking to move out to a new place. So now let's go through some of my lessons learned of moving to a new place. Number one, live near the action. If you don't know the city you're moving to very well, live as close to downtown or near the action as possible. Because when you get to a new location, it can be quite lonely, so you wanna see many people as soon as you can. Being close to people can help you acclimate and integrate faster into the city. In my first move into a suburb of San Francisco, it was terrible, I was very far away from people. I lived in the suburbs, close to my job, and there was only families around me. It wasn't easy and it was far away from where all the single people hung out. In my second move to Seattle, I lived downtown where all the bars and clubs were. My social life in Seattle was much easier to start than in San Francisco. Living near the action can mean either you're living in the city itself or you're close by through public transit or freeways. This means that it's very quick to get in and out of high density areas where the people are located. When I lived in the suburbs, it took an hour to get to the city. It was not easy for me to get to the people. And meeting people was difficult because I had to dedicate two hours going back and forth into the city. You want to remove as much barrier as you can to meeting people right away when you're integrating into a city. So when you're first moving to an area, find the most interesting and exciting place to live at. It might be more expensive, but it allows you to integrate into that city much quicker than living in the suburbs. Number two, meet a lot of people. It goes without saying, but if you're in a new place, meet as many people as you can and make connections to those who really gel with you. This ideally should be done as soon as you get there, maybe within a first month or two. The longer you wait to go out and meet people, the harder it is to actually do so. This is because you get set in your ways and you get comfortable with staying inside. And the goal of this is to find people that you bond with so you can have fun, relax, and find something new about your location. I focused on certain activities when I got to a new location, like singing, improv, and hiking. And I was able to find these on social media like Eventbrite, Meetup, or Facebook groups. And through this, I was able to find lifelong friends that helped me really to integrate into the city and become my home, which I never would have done if I just stayed home and did nothing. So reach out and find people as soon as you move there to help you get integrated into the city. Number three, discover a new you. Starting in a new city can be a double-edged sword. It can be either a really good thing or a really bad thing, depending on your perspective. That's because when you're starting over in a new city, nobody knows you. This can be a good thing because then you can craft yourself into becoming whoever you want to be. And the downside, of course, is nobody knows you, so you have to start from scratch, even if you're the most popular person in your old city. Moving to a new city allows you to have a fresh start in a new place. We don't get many chances of this during our lifetimes. So definitely take advantage of this if you want to use this opportunity to better yourself and give people a better you. If you see my previous videos, you know that when I was in LA, I was really stuck in a rut. I had the same friends, habits, and activities day to day. I didn't really change anything about my life. I really didn't have the opportunity to better myself. I was stuck in the same rituals each and every day. But when I moved to a new city, I was able to break those rituals, crafting a new me. I had the opportunity to be anyone, do anything, and grow more than I ever could living in LA. This means that in a new place, you can craft a lifestyle that you always wanted. 
and also allow the people that truly matter into your life. No longer do you need to do things out of habit or ritual. Everything is up to you. I really underestimated how much moving to a new city could change my life. Because it allows you to start over and you can transform that experience to whatever you want it to be. So take that opportunity and discover a new you. Number four, take risks. As part of this new you, you can take as many risks as you can in your new city. I don't mean dangerous risks necessarily, but things that you wouldn't do in your old city. This means that you could do things that are normally scary for you or you wouldn't do it because you hadn't considered it. What people don't usually realize is that when you move to a new city, you have a ton of free time now. That's because in a new location, there is no set schedule. You haven't scheduled anything yet, so your calendar is completely free. So things that you normally wouldn't do because you don't have time no longer exists anymore. So you don't have the excuse anymore of not having free time to do that thing you always wanted to do. For example, I never thought to sing, do improv, or be part of a musical in LA. It was always more of an afterthought because of my school and other obligations. But when I moved to a new city and had a ton of free time, I was able to explore all these things that normally I wouldn't have. And the more things I explored and challenged myself, the more I loved those activities. Taking these risks really made me feel good about myself. I realized that I can do anything that I wanted to. And I was able to meet so many fun and interesting people along the way that became my lifelong friends. So take risks in a new city and do what you've never done before. And number five, enjoy yourself. Lastly, just enjoy the process of starting over in a new place. It's a lie to say that it's easy to move to a new place and start over. It's extremely hard and stressful at times. And those first few months can be really lonely, especially if you're by yourself. So you have to enjoy yourself as much as you can and limit the negative feelings. My advice is to keep doing the activities that made you happy when you were in your old location. Doing the occasional hobby that you love and reaching out to your friends can help you stay sane. Because in the darkest of times, I had to rely on myself to push through some of this pain and uncomfortableness of moving to a new city. And I wouldn't have been successful if I hadn't enjoyed the process along the way. In this new city, I became a tourist, did some fun local activities, and made friends along the way. And that helped me to blunt the effects of being isolated and lonely while in a new city. So even though you're moving to a new place, don't forget to have some fun and enjoy the process along the way. And know that over time, you'll be all right. And now let's go through some of my general thoughts of moving to a new city. In the times that I moved to new places, I never generally consulted someone that actually lived in that city. I would generally not recommend the course of action that I took. Find someone that lives in the city that you're going to move to and ask them everything that you ever wanted to. This is because locals can tell you so much more about the city than you ever could find doing a simple Google search. And they can tell you things that might save you a lot of time and energy in the process of moving to that city. It can be either finding a local tour guide or sitting in the bar in that city and asking around. The more information you get about the city that you're moving to, the easier the process will be. And also, the subject of this video was generally geared towards Americans moving from American towns to another American town. But it can certainly apply to moving to different cities in other countries. The key is to be open to new experiences and adjust along the way. I moved to Japan for three months in my early 20s and these same principles still applied. If I had not been open to new experiences and just isolated myself in my hotel room, I would not have an enjoyable experience. And culturally, I would have been worse off for it. So definitely when you're moving to a new city, be open to the experiences and be flexible along the way because it'll help you integrate faster. So those were my lessons learned on moving to a new city. As a newbie mover, I learned invaluable skills the first couple of months I was in a new city because there wasn't anybody I could lean on and I had to rely on myself for everything. But it was definitely difficult and challenging along the way. Trying to craft a new life free from the past without a guide was extremely difficult. A lot of the time when I was in a new city, it was just me adjusting to the new schedule and habits. But going through it multiple times helped me to craft the confidence I have to move to a new city and be able to thrive in it. And knowing that I could start over anywhere is a powerful confidence booster. So the keys to successfully moving to a new city is to discover a new you, take risks, and enjoy the process. So thank you for watching. Please leave me a comment down below on if you ever moved to a new city and what was the first thing that you did. And I'll see you next time.